Whenever you're talking about the idea of Xbox Game Pass versus PlayStation Plus, the conversation really centers on this idea of quantity and quality. I mean, let's just face facts. Game Pass has a lot of games on it, whereas PlayStation Plus, you know, it's definitely a smaller service. And it feels like Sony has decided to push back. This month, they're giving us 22 new free games on the service. And I'll be honest, I'm kind of in shock. Let's take a look at the 22 newly added games because even now I'm still kind of just shook. Let's take a look. What's up gamers, Dreamcast guy here. Hi, hope you're having a great day. If you could like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. So this actually just got announced minutes ago and people are sort of completely losing it because it doesn't even really make sense. So here's the list. I want to actually take a look at all of it because it, it's literally so long. This, this is just bonkers. I, I mean, okay, let's just start at the top and go to the bottom because this kind of feels like there was a time where I was using a DoorDash and I ordered a bag of Taco Bell and I got like three bean burritos and two tacos and they gave me four bags of food and it had tons and tons and tons of stuff. I was confused but very happy about it. This feels like that big Taco Bell month. So first and foremost, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, the PlayStation 5 game that I gave a 10 out of 10 that actually was a game of the year contender. This game is a freaking bop. That's just free on PlayStation Plus now. Next up, Humanity. This is a brand new game that's actually releasing this month. So they're putting a new AAA game. That's pretty freaking cool. Um, this is definitely a weirder kind of artsy game. I'm going to check it out because it's just on the service. It's probably not something I would have bought. But if it's on there for free, you know what? I'll download it and give it a shot. Watch Dogs Legion. Uh, I played the heck out of this game on Xbox Series X. I beat it twice, actually, on Xbox Series X, and I never had it on PlayStation. Now I can check this out. This game is actually rather massive. Uh, it has a thing where you can swap between characters, and different characters have different jobs. So you can be like a uh, guy who controls drones or a hacker that's able to jam cameras and stuff like that. It's actually a very fun game. I, I don't think it got particularly high review scores, but personally, I had a bunch of fun with it. God, Dishonored 2, Dishonored Death of the Outsider. Oh my God, back to back. I mean, we're talking about the failures of Arcane. These are the people that did Redfall, uh, which is one of the biggest L's of all time. Uh, Redfall now one of the lowest rated games of all time. Part of the disappointment with Redfall is that previously... They made perfect games like this. <laughs> and now they're on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. Sakuna of Rice and Ruin. Uh, I have heard good things. Uh, smaller indie game. I think this originally came out on Nintendo Switch and really was popular there. Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. Tomb Raider 20th Celebration Edition, which I think has a bunch of extra content and stuff. Both of these very, very good, obviously. Wow, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which uh, this is the lowest rated of the Tomb Raider trilogy, but I actually still have a big soft spot for it. Um, it had some of the craziest stealth mechanics. You could like put mud on yourself and blend into walls and stuff. Goofy, yes. Fun, hell yes. Bus Simulator 21. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm not going to play that. A little bit of a strange one. Evil Within 2. I am going to simp for this game forever. Look, if you get anything out of this video, play The Evil Within 2. This game is spooky, it's weird, it's surreal, it's actually a good stealth combat shooter. Love this game, does not get enough credit. Freaking play that, hell yes. Wolfenstein Youngblood, okay. Thymacia, I beat the hell out of this game. Uh, again, this is sort of like an indie Bloodborne. Uh, I beat, I mean, I literally put so many hours into Thymacia. Super cool. Wow. Rain World. All right, that's another indie game. Lake. All right, nice little indie game. Conan Exiles. That's that big, yeah, it's an online survival game. Uh, isn't this the game originally where you could give yourself a big old horse cock? Right? I seem to remember that. Am I just accidentally thinking of horse cock? But... 
All right, next up we have Rune Factory 4. Cool. Story of Seasons. These are the games that are technically like Harvest Moon, right? Where they aren't legally allowed to call it Harvest Moon anymore, but this is actually the new Harvest Moon. Cool. Uh, Soundfall. I actually heard good things about this. It's a fast-paced music dungeon crawler. Mm, I think the older I get, the more I love just the term dungeon crawler because those are usually the games that have the most tight, focused, no BS gameplay. I'm definitely going to check this out. It has rhythm-based gameplay to create a world of music unlike any other. I've heard only a tiny bit about Soundfall, but all of it's been incredibly positive. And again, if it's free, why the heck not try it? What do we got here? Oh yeah, the PlayStation Plus Premium Games. I mean, they told us that we we're going to get some retro stuff on the service. This stuff, though, is actually cool as hell. Siphon Filter, Logan's Shadow. Oh my god, I am so happy about this. Originally released on the PSP, it is enhanced with upscaled rendering, rewind feature, quick save, and custom video filters. I love Logan's Shadow. I actually have this on my PSP. This is one of the first games I ever played when I originally hacked my PSP because I could not find a copy of it. The fact that I'm about to be able to play this and hopefully platinum it on the PlayStation 5 is actually freaking delightful. Next up, though, Blade Dancer Dark Lineage, or sorry, Lineage of Light, the exact opposite of what I said. This is like a classic RPG, right? I, I never played this. Again, another really cool, obscure PSP RPG getting brought over. That's freaking awesome. Pursuit Force, another game originally released on the PSP. Dive behind the wheel of a truck, a speeding boat, or even a helicopter as you hunt down criminals and recover stolen goods. So it's like a interesting. So you're, it's like a GTA, but you're the police. Interesting. You know what? This actually sounds fun as hell. I'll be honest. I've never heard of P Pursuit Force. And to me, that makes it more exciting. I've always said this, but when it comes to subscription services, the best thing is when it is games that are great the typical people haven't heard of you know give me a chance to play something weird and obscure that's going to open my eyes to something i missed next up though this is the very last game ghostbusters the video game remastered i was literally about to buy this <laughs> i'm so happy about this this is the one that has full co-op right you can actually play this game man this is so cool um this is technically the third real ghostbusters movie they got a lot of the people involved from the original ghostbusters stuff and brought them back and had them voice their characters dan Aykroyd, harold ramus everything yeah based and pinned by the original creators of the movies it's fantastic. It actually takes place in the 90s, and it's co-op. I am absolutely thrilled. This is a just absolutely staggering month for PlayStation Plus, and I think everybody knows it. Everybody already is on Twitter just being like, what in the world? I mean, even I actually tweeted out, like, why did they put 22 games on the service in a month? I <laughs> just... Whatever's happening at Sony headquarters, uh, I'm sure they planned this months and months in advance, but it's a big W to me. Well, it's been a good day. I guess I'm going to get ready to clear out my entire schedule. Uh, real quick, there are rumors about a Bloodborne remaster coming out soon. People have asked me to talk about it. I'll believe it when I see it. Also, people have been asking me when my Tears of the Kingdom review is going live. My big giant extra long Zelda review is ready to go, but I'm not allowed to say when it's posting. It'll be up before launch though. Thank you so much for watching gamers. If you could please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And also, of course, keep dreaming. Man, I'm legitimately just so happy. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.